There's no substitute for Johnny Unitas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 19, Johnny Unitas. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure for me to be here. Gerald, I want to thank you for including me in this dream dinner on your 50th celebration. I do wonder, though, how it is that I ended up between Jesus and Napoleon. <laughs> but at least I made the dinner party list. I really am happy to be here to have the opportunity to meet so many of your family and close friends. I had heard many good things about you before I arrived. You are to be celebrated for your success in business, but perhaps more importantly for your success in life. You mastered my lesson in character. Make the best of what you have. Take advantage of life's opportunities. You have shared your success by helping many people. Of all the things that you have done, I am most impressed with your commitment to children through your support of Pasco High School Athletics and elementary children through the FACES project. Having eight children of my own, I understand how important that is. I also learned that you were working by the time you were 10 years old and had your own brokerage account when you were 15. That you invested and worked your way through college and graduated at the top. That is RMA. I think RMA is what has brought you from a tiny fishing camp in East Texas to the untimely death of your father and to the successful empire you have assembled now. Had you been a little older and I a little younger, I am sure that we would have shared this 1958 championship. Your children tell me that they have grown up on RMA. I thought that was a vitamin, but learn it stands for right mental attitude. That explains your success. You believe that with a right mental attitude, RMA, that you can make a difference. I agree. RMA is the single most important factor in taking advantage of life's opportunities. As I studied your life, Gerald, I learned that with RMA, you have been making a difference all of your life oftentimes by turning the obstacles into an opportunity. On a football field as a Marshall Maverick, I learned that you were the smallest person on the team, yet led a team in tackles, made all district three years running, and were always where the ball was. Now that is RMA. <laughs> Let's talk a minute about the 1958 championship game. I, told, I am told that you remember every play. Remember who we played? Yeah, the Giants. Do you remember the score? 23 to 17. It wasn't an easy game, but nothing worth having ever is. If all of my linemen had been like you, Gerald, I might not have been hit all, at all that night. I remember one play in particular. That's a Raymond Berry catch right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, that man kept me in the league for 18 years. There's another one to Lenny Moore. We had great people at that time. As you know, it takes great people to be successful. Raymond again on a short slant. Sam Huff trying to catch him. And this is the uh, overtime game. Raymond here making another catch for a first down. My dad, I guess everybody knows, Raymond is from Paris, Texas. Right here, everybody knows who this one is. This is a famous Gerald. Look at him, folks. You're never going to see it again. Never see the likeness of it. Still gone. <laughs> See what I mean? Always on the ball. RMA. Thank you, Gerald, for your contribution to so many of our lives, and happy birthday. <laughs> 